today I am Duck Newton from the Adventure Zone. Aiden Verso from Star Wars Battlefront. Matt Gothel from Tangled. I'm cosplaying Rapunzel from Tangled. I'm cosplaying Alice from Alice Madness Returns. Today I am Sirius Black in my Azkaban gear, my sign. And I am Ned Chicane from the Adventure Zone. Batgirl from the DC Comics. Aubrey from the Adventure Zone. My cosplay today is Klaus from Umbrella Academy. I just love any excuse to dress up. Halloween, book day, like when I was a kid. And then when I found out there was a kind of way to do it as a grown up that wasn't too stigmatized, then I was like, yes, on it, yes. I started cosplaying because it just brings me closer with other people who are like me. I like to express myself through the costumes. It gives me so much more confidence. One of the actors who played one of the characters I love came to Comic-Con and I wanted to show them how much I love their character. So I started dressing up as them. I am pansexual and I cosplay some like bisexual, pansexual characters. It's just cool to have that representation in pop culture. I've cosplayed a lot of characters that are queer in my heart at the very least. I'm a massive Captain Jack Harkness cosplayer. If people see queer people cosplay more actively and more aggressively, hopefully the people who make this media will realise that we want more representation and it will lead to more queer characters. We're already seeing that with series like Voltron. I'm a big fan of The Adventure Zone and Critical Role. Both have many, many LGBT characters. The person who I'm dressed as, Aubrey, is a bi woman and she's absolutely amazing. She's my favourite person. I love cosplaying characters that aren't necessarily confirmed LGBT in canon, but doing it in a like very obviously LGBT way. So I've done Princess Bubblegum and I love t like kind of twisting those characters and making them more explicitly LGBTQ. And that's like cosplay more, I've explored my gender identity more through it, so that's what really kept me cosplaying. I think it's really important that people start to explore their comfort zones, especially when you have an identity that might not be so common. Cosplay was a really good opportunity to explore my gender, as I was able to like find without it being very stigmatized and kind of work out that actually I felt more comfortable dressing really masculine. If you're stealth at home, and you're not allowed to experiment with your wardrobe and your gender and your sexuality, it's a safe space to do so. Because it's a completely like judgment-free zone. Like people react to me exactly the same whether I'm in Rapunzel or whether I'm in Bucky. People tend to associate anime and gaming and you know comic books with straight cis white men in particular. But I think there is actually a very diverse fan base. Most of my friends who cosplay are queer. My closest friends, I met them at a Cardiff Comic Con. Cons are often a space where there are lots of other LGBT people, and it's a really good way to like meet new friends and talk to people because you already have this shared thing that you absolutely love gave me a chance to explore my sexual identity through clothing and it was through that that I discovered that I'm probably not a butch lesbian, I'm probably a dude. I honestly do believe it was cosplay that helped me sort of find myself and I'm a much happier man now. It's kind of a weird thing to say but dressing up as someone else and kind of inhabiting someone else's body in that way is a good way to get to know yourself. Thinking about like this is completely different from who I normally am but actually I really like it. Even if you're not trans, even if you're just looking to express the side of yourself that you don't always get the chance to, it's a really good way of doing that in a kind of safe supportive environment.